Sometimes a simple circuit like this presents its own challenges, and tests one's knowledge about electronics basics. Under ideal conditions, typical values, a DC power source, and identical discharged capacitors, what is the shape of the output after the switch is turned on? Before continuing, you may like to pause the video and think about it. To analyze the circuit we use two basic principles, a transition between two voltage levels has infinite frequency components, and the impedance of a capacitor approaches zero as the rise time decreases, or the signal frequency increases. Once the switch is turned on, V in immediately rises from zero to Vs. Without C1, the circuit becomes a trivial RC circuit, and the output charges up in accordance with the RC time constant. Under ideal conditions, V in rises in an infinitesimally small amount of time. This transition generates infinite number of frequency components. The impedance of the capacitors regardless of their values, approach zero as the applied frequency increases. At T1, the resistor has a resistance infinitely larger than the impedance of the capacitors, and it can be ignored. Therefore, the circuit can be simplified to a voltage divider, and having identical capacitors the output becomes half of V in. As time progresses, the impedance of the capacitors becomes larger with a decreasing frequency. Eventually C1 acts like an open circuit, and the resistor limits the flow of current to C2. The output reaches one half of its final voltage instantly, and then it follows an exponential rise with a time constant equal to RC2. Now let's examine an actual circuit. Using the single trigger mode of an oscilloscope, we capture the output when the switch is turned on. Channel 1 in yellow displays V in, and channel 2 in blue displays V out. Note that in the real world, zero transition times never happen. Changing the time scale of the oscilloscope, we can verify that the output behavior starts with a quick transition to within one half of V in, followed by an exponential rise to its final value. Adding a resistor equal to R1 in parallel with C2 in the original circuit, provides a setup to test and trim capacitors with wide tolerances. In this circuit, the output experiences an overshoot if the capacitor under test has a lower value, and an undershoot if it has a higher value than that of the reference capacitor. Capacitors can be grouped according to the shape of the transition between the voltage levels. For identical capacitors the output, channel 2 is expected to be half of the input, channel 1. The amount of the overshoot or undershoot directly relates to the value difference between the capacitors. Note that the ratio of the resistor values must be the inverse of the capacitor values for the circuit to work for unequal capacitors. It has become evident, C1 speeds up the output charge time of the circuit. Adding a diode in parallel with it can improve this charge time, especially for larger source voltages. We welcome your thoughts on this and similar subjects. Thanks for watching.